Filson, Filson, Filson. How can you go wrong with a Filson bag? I don't think you can. I don't know, maybe unless you're getting one of their, their leather bags. I, I love their canvas stuff. <clears throat> they're, uh, that's what they're known for, their, their, their canvas uh, messenger bags in particular. That's what I really like uh, about them. That's what I've always liked about them. But I got my hands on one of their Filson uh, um, briefcase briefcase right it, it's it's all leather or at least most of it is leather and not just leather it's made out of Wiccan and Craig uh, bench tan uh, leather and that's the reason why um, I wanted to really check this out because I that's what I use I use Wiccan and Craig's bridal leather to make my uh, my high-end briefcases for the most part I use them and the uh, the English bridal leather that comes from the UK but what I wanted to see is how they go about um, building their briefcases with the same leather that I use. And um, that's what I got. That's, that's what this is. This is their classic style uh, uh, briefcase. It's got a little flap over, but it's a basic open top with a zipper. And um, made out of Wicked and Craig um, leather, bridal leather. Uh, for the most part, the, the leather is, is great, all right? Um, and uh, let, me, let me back that up. Let, let me talk about the style. I just reviewed another bag that Coach had was uh, an open top briefcase, which was similar, a bit more um, modern looking, a, a bit more sleeker than this. This is uh, um, not as, as sleeker. I, I, I see that uh, the Coach's Metro Slim Metropolitan briefcase more for um, if you're in a suit and it's in an office environment, I think that would be uh, great. I, I don't see this for, for an office environment. I think it is a, a bit too uh, rough. I think this is maybe for um, if you're dressing casual that day, that's what this is great for, jeans. Uh, I'm in jeans a lot. I could see myself maybe carrying this if I like the style. You know, if you follow me, I just hate the open top style. I just think it's um, it's it, I don't know. It just doesn't. It looks too. Uh, it looks too feminine for me. I like uh, briefcases, flap over classic style briefcases. The briefcases that that are carried like this remind me too much of, of a handbag or a purse, um, especially when you got the straps like this. But that's me. I've talked about that many times. But that that aside, the construction on this briefcase is excellent. Um, the stitching is great. I, they do all the stitching internally, unlike how I normally do it, where since I hand stitch it, my seams are always outside. Um, what they do is they machine stitch in this bag, but it's it's turned over, and then um, that they flip the side. They literally pull it out, and that's why you don't see the seams. The seams are inside. And that's great. Um, you could do that with soft leather. That's, uh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention about this. The leather is great. The, the quality, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, I, I, it's veg tan leather. It's not perfect. It's not like, um, you know, some of these other, it's not like uh, Coach's uh, calf leather that was pretty much perfect. This, this stuff will patina and age really nicely. So if you have a briefcase like this made of this veg tan leather, just like my, this is the same, same leather, just in black, and this is, uh, what, brown? Um, and it's a, this one's a little bit thicker. This one's mine, it's a, it's a portfolio. This leather, since it's veg tan, it will patina really nicely, it will fade. And that's, and that's what this will do, it will fade real nice. The only thing that I don't like about it is the leather is kind of really thin. Um, I mean, really thin, and uh, thinner than I would um, ever use, especially on like a, a flap like this. Uh, I know it saves in, in weight and it keeps the, the the briefcase light, but still, I think it's really, I think it's it's as thin as you can, you can thin out a piece of leather. And I think when you do that for this, this, um, I don't know, I, I don't know how long that would last. I don't know if that, that's a good idea. And they do, it's the same thin leather that they use for, for the inside as well. Um, they don't line this briefcase. It's just made of the, the same, thin leather as thin as this flap is 
and I just don't like that thinness. I think um, you put a you put um, a laptop in here or or something um, heavy, and I don't know. You could pierce it. You could poke it, depending on how you use it. If, if you're someone who uses your uh, your briefcases of a lot, especially with laptops, especially with the the heavier ones, two, three, four pounds, um, sure, you could. Uh, you could pierce the leather, especially since this is thin leather. And I, and I know why they're going with the thin leather because it's not the, the leather that the, the bag is constructed is not as thick as the leather that uh, these handles are. Um, normally, that's how thick I would make my thin briefcases with this thickness of leather, like this. This is made with maybe slightly thinner than the handles. And it and it keeps itself pretty good. You can see it's flat. I mean, it's aligned as well, but you can see it's flat. It, it's sturdy. It's stable. Not gonna. It's not all all flimsy. This flap is light, and you could see it just it's just flimsy. Um, I think flimsy tends to um to break or to even rip and tear. This stuff will, will tear, tear easier than canvas. I would say. Um, if you're going to go with a briefcase like this, go with the briefcases that are all canvas. Those are, those will probably last longer than the leather, if you ask me, than this thin, thinner leather. Um, so yeah, I would go with the, with the all canvas and it'll probably be cheaper. I forgot how much this is going for. I think, um, six, seven hundred, I think. Um, the price, yeah, it's not that bad. It, it's good quality leather. If you're not going to beat it up, yes. I think it's fine, the thinness, it's light. Um, it's got the flap over, I think that's like their signature, which is, is cool, I like that. It's got the long handle so you can carry it. If you like to carry it, um, your bags like this, uh, metal parts, it's nice. It's not like that, that coach bag that I reviewed that had uh, the cheap metal parts, it's, it's, it's good. Um, the the zipper, it's a nice, stable, thicker zipper, thicker than that coach bag. It's lined with thicker leather on the edges. It's built nice. The inside, they have these flaps that are made out of canvas. Um, I don't know. I've done that a couple of times on some of my briefcases. I've never really liked um, the mixing of this thick canvas and leather. I mean, the, the canvas that they use is thicker than the leather. So thicker than the leather that the, this is all constructed with. So I don't know. I, I, that's my thing. I just I think they, they, they went on too thinness of a leather. And I know they're trying to keep it light and flexible, but I think it's just too thin. I know um, to build a briefcase like this, especially with the, the edges turning in, if you went with thicker leather, you just wouldn't be able to turn these edges in. You'd have to sew them on the outside. And then that becomes a whole new thing, probably bring up the price because it'd be hard to stitch. So, um, so I understand why they went with a thinner leather, but I don't know. I, I would go with all canvas. That, that's my opinion. Um, that's great. Here they have a, uh, a, um, a shoulder strap that's all um, leather, nice thick leather, the same thick leather that's uh, bridal leather that's on the... Uh, the handle so that I really like they have um, some I guess like some uh, some synthetic padding on the shoulder strap I don't know about that I just would have put two pieces of leather that's how I do it I put two pieces of thick leather just to keep it all leather but unlike that coach case that I reviewed that had that nylon shoulder strap at least they have a nice thick uh, shoulder strap that's going to age straps. I think the shoulder strap probably lasts longer than this thin uh, leather, but who knows? So, um, depending on how you use the briefcase. So, overall, to summarize, um, the briefcase, this leather briefcase, I don't like this this open top style, this modern style. Uh, I think it's more like a handbag. I definitely would, I would personally not wear it messenger style. It just looks too much like a, like a crossbody bag for women. This, um, these long handles that are dropped like this, I just, I hate, personally hate these style for a briefcase. Um, I, I, it's just too feminine for me. 
I like um, f mainly flap over or classic style briefcases that are made with thick leather. And I don't care if you have some rough, rugged um, leather. It's still, it's the style. It's not the leather that, that makes the briefcase. Um, if I was to go with a briefcase like this, I would probably go with the canvas above the leather. I don't see, I see the leather aging nicely. If you're not going to do some heavy use with it, yes, this is the way to go. Um, the, the leather is exceptional um, from Wicked and Craig. Uh, so if you're not going to go crazy with the leather, this is the way to go. The price is around $800. It's a bit too expensive um, for what you get. There's no, no real lining, just um, a drop uh, canvas uh, compartment sort of lining. There's not real lining. I don't see this uh, flap. This flap is kind of thin and flimsy. I don't see it uh, lasting on, on the long run. I would uh, I would have just made the bag without the flap, but I know this is like a, a signature style for this style of Filson bag. Um, so overall, you can't go wrong. It's an American company. You use an American uh, leather and, and exceptional leather at that. Um, good hardware, good zipper, good construction. It's machine stitched, um, but it's still good. I know they back their product, so if something did happen to the bag, I'm sure they would uh, they would back it. But yeah, I would I would I would go with the canvas. Um, I think the canvas is around four hundred dollars. Probably a better price for this style of bag. You're not going to carry this in some office. You're going to uh, carry this to school or if you're a, you're a teacher. Um, I don't see you wearing a suit with this. Uh, you can you can do whatever you want. I wouldn't do that. I would rather um, hold coach's bag uh, as opposed to this in a suit. Um, but for this Filson, great. Great briefcase if this is your thing.